Hello everyone. Here we are talking about the resultant of two vectors and we are going to use a parallelogram law. If you remember the parallelogram law that we have discussed in the previous post, if the two vectors are represented as two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, the resultant of the two vectors is the diagonal of the parallelogram passing to the same common point. And we have proved that if P and Q are the vectors, resultant is nothing but P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos theta. Taking this into consideration, I would like to write different possible cases. Say for example, I have two vectors P and P both are equal and they are in the same direction. I want to know the resultant of these two vectors. It is very clear that cos theta is equal to 1 as the two vectors are parallel to each other theta equal to 0 cos 0 equal to nothing but 1. Then I can find out resultant as root of p square, q is also p, p square, 2 p p cos 0, cos 0 is nothing but 1. So, what will be the answer? 2 p square plus 2 p square, that is nothing but equal to root of 4 p square, that is nothing but 2 p. And what will be the direction of this resultant vector? As these two vectors are in the same direction, the direction of the resultant also will be in the same direction of the given vectors 2p. This is one possibility. Let us take some another possibility. Say I have one vector p like this. Another vector is also p but like this having equal magnitude but opposite in direction like they are the negative vectors to each other. I want to find the resultant. It is very clear from here that the angle between them is 180. You also know that cos 180 is nothing but equal to minus 1. Apply them in the resultant formula that we have learned. Root of p square. Q is also p square. 2 p q. Where q is nothing but equal to minus p. Of course, here also I can write a minus p. But square is there that will cancel. And cos 180. So, what will be the answer? Or else I have already written a... Uh, cos 180 saying that they are in opposite direction therefore let me write a magnitude only here so what will be the resultant root of 2 p square minus 2 p square that is 0 that means that these two vectors are going to just cancel each other so two equal vectors in the same direction gives double the resultant two equal vectors in the opposite direction gives a zero resultant let us consider another three. The same equal vectors p bar, the same equal vector q bar. There is an angle theta between them. Right? They are in the same direction but with an angular separation theta. Let me write the formula then. Root of p square. Q is also p. 2 p q also p cos theta. So, it will be 2 p square plus 2p square of cos theta. This is 2p square of 1 plus cos theta. We know at the trigonometry 1 plus cos theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta by 2. So, your answer will be 4p square cos square theta by 2. So, it is nothing but equal to 2p cos theta by 2. This is how we have to find a resultant of the two equal vectors with a certain angular separation. Suppose the problem is same, this is p, this is p. You might have noticed they are not in the same direction but they are in the opposite direction and I have to find the resultant of these two vectors. As they are in the opposite direction, I have to write resultant r equal to root of p square plus p square minus 2 p square cos theta because they are in the opposite direction. The resultant is going to be less. So, your formula will be 2 p square of 1 plus cos theta that is nothing but 1 minus cos theta 2 p square of 2 sin square theta by 2 as per trigonometry. So, the answer is going to be 2 p sin theta by 2 like that. You might have noticed in this problem every time the vectors are having the same magnitude because the directions are different, 
every time the resultant is going to be different so it's very clear with this example that uh, the summation of the vectors depends uh, not only on the magnitude but also the direction